Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the CZ Scorpion. Let's get right into the first 30 second breakdown. That's where in the first 30 seconds, give or take, I give you guys my exact thoughts on this product before we get into the full review. That way you guys can stop watching it if you guys don't want to uh, hear anymore and watch the full review or you guys continue watching and find out why. I say those things and get a little bit more information about this gun. So with this gun, the CZ Scorpion, I've had a lot of fun with this. I've been wanting one of these for a really long time and I'm really happy that I've been able to get a hold of one and play around with it. So if you guys have been following me on Instagram and everything, you guys have seen that I've had a ton of fun with this. Uh, this gun makes me smile a lot playing with it. Um, this is a really good sub gun. I've had no malfunctions with it and uh, it's been flawless through everything I've put through it. Um, it's very customizable. It does have some downfalls like the trigger, the safety selector and the grip angle, um, but the customizability, and again, that's probably not a word, but how customizable this thing is really makes this such a fun gun. The price point is pretty cheap. It's an $800 mark. Uh, so you still have some money to be able to add upgrades, optic, uh, braces, things like that. Uh, so the price is not going to blow your budget, but you can still run the gun as is out of the box. Uh, it's just a lot more fun to be able to upgrade it. So super fun gun, had a lot of fun with it. Uh, we'll go over some pros and cons because there are some cons with this that might be a, a break point for some people. Um, but uh, we'll go over those here in the review. Now let's go over my relationship with CZ. So they did send this to me to test. I did not pay for this. I uh, met them out at SHOT Show, talked to them a little bit there, and they sent it out shortly after. So I really appreciate them doing that. It was really nice of them, and I've had a lot of fun with it since. All right, let's get right into the full review on this. Let's go over the gun real quick and what it is. When you get this, you're just going to have a handgun, basically, the pistol version of this. You're not going to have this extension. You're not going to have a brace on it uh, unless you buy a, a version with it. You're not going to have the flashlight, all this stuff. The optic will not come with it. Uh, I have a different trigger on it right now, but it'll basically come without all this stuff. It comes with sights, which is really cool. And these are actually really nice sights because they rotate here and you can change uh, depending what you're shooting, how far you're shooting, and what your preference is. Uh, it has a seven and three fourths inch barrel. Um, so the barrel size is really, really nice because you've got a little of extra length to be able to make some farther shots. And and to be able to have a really comfortable grip on the gun, but it's not too short to where it's almost like, eh, I don't really comfortably hold this gun and it's still very concealable. So barrel length is really nice, I like that. Uh, you got your pick rolls on top and the sides, so you're able to customize them. Um, let's just go ahead and go right into the uh, pros and cons because then we can go off kind of things off of that. So let's go into our pros first. Uh, the biggest pro for me is gonna be the fact that you can customize this so much. It's just like an AR, like a Glock. There's tons of aftermarket parts on this all over the market and they're really good parts. And uh, there's not really too many CZ Scorpions that you see that are identical. Like there's so many things you can do with these to make them different and your own. Uh, and I think that's a really cool thing with these. So that's a big benefit for me. Another benefit is reliability. Um, I've heard a lot of people say how reliable these are, how much they go through all ammo they've shot, and I've found that as well in my testing. I've shot over a thousand rounds with this with zero malfunctions. I've shot reman ammo, I've shot uh, reloads, brand new ammo, brass, steel, um, I think aluminum through the thing. I've shot everything through this and it has yet to have a malfunction. Uh, I went out with four other mags. I put every different mat or ammo I could in it and I ran through all 30 um, and never had an issue. So that's really good. That's always nice to know, especially when it's something you're carrying. This is something I carry with me every day. It's usually in my truck with me, um, mainly because it's just so small and compact. So reliability has been very good. Another pro is going to be the grip. Uh, slider, uh, the grip, not, not so much the grip itself, uh, cause that's actually going to be in the cons, uh, but the grip slides back and forth. So depending on how long your hands are, fingers, where it sits on the gun, you can loosen this screw right here. And then there's this track that's up here and you can bring it back a little bit. You can bring it forward. So you can kind of find that sweet spot. So that's kind of cool. It's not really something I've ever found in another gun. So you can bring that back and find where your finger fits best and what fits best for you. So that's really cool to be able to customize that a little bit. Uh, the mag release. Um, some people, again, some people told me they didn't like it. Some people tell me they do like it. I haven't had any issues. I find that doing reloads is really easy stripping them like that, doing quick strips. Um, I'm able to get my finger to it with not too much trouble if I want to do one. But usually what I do is I just strip, drop, grab. So it takes a little bit of practice, um, but I don't really have too much issues with that that mag release. I think that's something I'm probably going to be changing in the future. I think Strike Industries has a new one that I'm going to be testing out for them. Uh, so I might be changing that as well. Uh, I do have a ton of upgrades coming for this thing. I, mean, I got a new optic coming. 
um, the new front end, new mag release. There's a lot of things that are going to be changing with this soon. Um, but I want to kind of give you guys a review now on, on what it looks like now. And I was able to get a lot of rounds to it stock, and that was my goal. I wanted to just throw a brace on it and optic, run it that way so I knew exactly how the gun ran stock, and then I would do the upgrades and kind of see what was best and then be able to give you a better idea. I'll continue to update you guys on my Instagram, but so far that is where we are at. Another pro is going to be disassembly. Disassembly of this thing is really easy. Uh, you just pop one pen, which is right there. And you can just pull that forward, pull out, and then you pull this whole lower half off and you can get to everything from there. So disassembly was really easy with this, uh, which is always good with anything. You wanna be able to disassemble it easy, something out of the range, something goes wrong, you can pop it off, break it down, fix what you need to, throw it back together um, quick. And uh, some guns, you can kind of get pretty difficult, but this one was pretty easy. Next, and it's not really a gun thing, but it's the mags. These are by far the nicest mags that I've ever used. Reloading these, loading them all the way up to capacity is so easy. Uh, it's not breaking your fingers trying to put them in, which is kind of rare when you're looking for something like a 30 round nine millimeter mag. I've got Glock mags um, that when I run on my AR9 and they're horrible to load. It gets really obnoxious and hurts your thumbs. Uh, these are the easiest loading mags I've ever had and they feed really well. And they look nice because they have the window so you can see how many rounds you had in there. So uh, whatever CZ is doing with their mags, they're doing a really good job so they need to keep doing it. Uh, also have the 20 round mags on here i really don't run those a lot unless i'm doing like bag carry uh, it's really nice for that because it makes your gun a lot more concealable uh, i usually just run the 30 rounders because i like them i think they run really good and i think they look better on the gun so all in all with all the pros with this it is a really solid gun and a lot of fun to shoot uh, now let's get into something that's not really a pro or a con it's kind of uh, something that's going to be a preference on you uh, something i hear from people in the comments when i post stuff is uh, they don't like the fact that it is polymer. Some people say they don't like it, some people do. Um, for me, I really don't mind that it is polymer because I shoot Glocks, I shoot a lot of guns that are really prim primarily polymer. Um, yeah, it is a sub gun, it's a little bit larger, and, it, and you know the fact that it's polymer makes some people a little worried. Um, I've heard of some horror stories of them blowing up and because it's polymer, uh, it creates a, a pretty big disaster. Um, but. Me personally, I haven't had any issues, but I am not too scared and too terrified of the fact that it's all polymer. Uh, these have been out for a while, and I would imagine if they've had anything really big, uh, it wouldn't be continued to be made like this. So. Another pro, actually, before we get into the cons, is the, be the ability to throw braces on is the easiest by far of anything I've used. Um, I'm not really big into a ton of subguns, so maybe there's other ones out in the market that are just as easy, but you literally press a button, slip the plate off, slip a new plate on, and uh, you can throw, this is the FS 1913 from SB Tactical. I've been testing this one. Uh, super easy to put that one on, or I've been using the uh, SB Tactical PDW brace, this one as well. You just slip the plate off, slide this down. I mean, it is a five minute transition. I transitioned these between the two. It took me five minutes so I can switch back and forth depending on what I want. Uh, I wanted to run this one for a while because I'm just trying to test this one. Uh, it's a lot more concealable than the PDW just because the PDW stops about right here compared to this one where it folds, but the PDW is a lot easier and more comfortable to slap out and be able to get rounds on target because it's a pull instead of a rotation and your sling kind of gets in the way with the FS-1913. or the FS um, But that's besides the point. So that is another pro is the fact that you can change your abrasive super easy. That back plate just pops off. Now let's get into some cons. Uh, these are some things that I noticed pretty much immediately. I posted it on my first looks video um, and they are some make or break cons if you couldn't change them easily. Um, so we'll go over them real quick. But like I said, these would ruin the gun for me if it wasn't something that I could just switch out pretty simply and change it. Um, and I wish, I wish and I hope they look into these and change them in the future. Um, one of the first cons is going to be the grip angle. Not a big fan of the grip angle. I change all my ARs out to um, a more of a 90 degree angle. That's just a personal preference as well. So some people might like this. Um, so I'm not going to put that too deep into the cons, but I do not like that angle. Um, but that's with any gun. I switch all my, um, all my Glock, or not all my Glocks, all my AR grips get changed out as well. So um, definitely not a huge fan of that grip angle. Uh, the next is going to be the trigger. The trigger is so heavy. There's not really a good wall. Uh, I noticed when I was doing build drills or trying to take those longer shots, I would bring up and I would look for that wall to be able to, you know, align up and take that longer shot because you want to wait and, and take a more precise shot. And it's just hard to find that wall. Um, I've shot a thousand rounds through it a little over and I'm getting better with it. I'm a little more comfortable with the trigger because I've been shooting this pretty much primarily. I haven't shot AR in a little while just because I've been really running this and focusing on this. Um, so I'm getting better the more I'm using it, but 
The trigger is something you're going to upgrade. There's a spring kit that I've heard that is super good that takes the poundage a lot lower, so maybe that will fix it. This is a Franklin Armor binary trigger on it. Um, I used the stock trigger for a while, was not a fan, switched it to the Franklin Army. Hasn't really changed much. The trigger's not much better. I'm going to probably look into that spring kit, um, but definitely a big thing that you're probably going to want to change eventually. Uh, next is going to be the safety selector. Uh, this gun is clear. So, uh, actually, we'll just leave that open. That's a really cool feature. Uh, I should have thrown that the, the the pros. You can just pull that and rack up, just like the MP5 kind of style, and then slap it down. So super cool, makes you feel awesome. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've done that, just slapped it down just to do it. Um, but that would be a pro for me too. Uh, back to the cons. Uh, you got this ambidextrous safety selector. Uh, I love ambidextrous safety selectors, but this one, for some reason, I don't know if it's the grip angle or what it is, but when you're shooting, it gets into your finger, drives in there, and it makes it very uncomfortable after a long period of time of shooting. Um, I found myself, after an hour, hour and a half of shooting, kind of wanting to put this down because it was really uncomfortable to be able to shoot it like this, or I put it in binary mode because it's a little bit more comfortable because uh, that third switch goes straight down and it, it doesn't dig into your finger in that same spot. So it's very uncomfortable for shooting long periods of time. Uh, but again, super simple fix. There's tons of different upgrades you can do. Uh, you can get a different one. You can get a delete. There's an AK one. A lot of people said it's a really good one, or you can uh, just dremel it off if you want to as well. So that is, that is the three big downfalls that I think would make or break this gun um, if they weren't so easily changed and switched. So something I hope they look into in the future, I hope they decide to change that, but uh, it's definitely something that you probably are gonna look into changing immediately. So when you purchase this, those are probably the first three things you'll wanna change. Another con is going to be the fact that it doesn't have any cutie points. That is something that I'm really big on with slings as cutie points. I'm currently running this cold seal tactical sling, mainly because it's got these uh, detachable ends so you can run QD, uh, the rings, whatever you're using. Um, and luckily I had this, so I was able to run that on this uh, because it has these little hooks here instead of QD points. So I really, really would like to see a QD point one. I think there's some four ends you guys can buy that have the QD points. Um, you probably can buy some end plates or something like that or brace with a QD point, uh, I believe. Yeah. This one has a QD point on it. So if you get one with a front end with a QD point, then you'll be able to run QD on these. Um, so that was something that I wasn't a big fan of is seeing that. Luckily, like I said, I was worried because I don't, I don't run these, but luckily I had this um, and uh, I've been running that and that's been pretty good so far. All right, so now that we went all over the pros, cons, everything that I think of this gun, um, a couple more things that I want to mention that really aren't pro and cons. Sights, really good on those. I like those that they put them there. Uh, the buttons were a little bit stiff when I originally got it. I looked in the manual and they showed a point where to lube everything. So I lubed everything that they said to and it's breaking in really well. So they were really, really tough. I mean, the safety was insanely tough to actually manipulate. Now it's really easy. And just as long as you lube them where they're supposed to and you use it, it's going to break in. So just know that when you first get it, it will probably be pretty stiff. Uh, the recoil impulse, it's a little bit different. It's not what I'm used to. That was something I had to get used to as well, along with that trigger, because I was trying to get that trigger down, and then the recoil was different than what I was used to. Uh, it's not your normal, I, I don't know. It's hard to explain without shooting it, honestly, uh, so I'm not even gonna try to explain it. But just know the recoil impulse is a little bit different and will take a little bit of time to get used to. Um, but again, I shot this thing for a couple months religiously without really shooting too much of anything else, and I'm getting really comfortable with this. So it's just like anything else. Uh, it's like when I tested the X95, uh, it was really different. Reloads, uh, impulses were all a little bit different, but once I really started focusing on that platform, uh, it became really easy. So would I recommend this and would I spend my own money on it? Uh, yes, I do recommend this. I think this is a really cool platform. I think it's fun because the price isn't obnoxious and it's a very reliable platform. Uh, AR9s, if you wanna build something like that, you know, if you wanna build something that's actually reliable and good, you're looking at already over $1,000 to start something out. So for this being in the $800 mark, and then you can really customize it to what you want, I think it's a good price and a good gun. Uh, so I definitely recommend this. I already had some people on Instagram sending me some messages and tagging me in their photos of the CZs that they just recently bought after they seen my first impressions. Uh, so it was nice. I'm glad that you guys, you know, got a little bit more information from that video. So you were able to make a better purchase on it. And I have a couple of my friends that are already looking for, at getting some CZ Scorpions as well um, after this. So I definitely do recommend this to people um, and then would I spend my own money on it yes I would definitely I was actually going to purchase this year it was on my list of guns I have a list of like four guns that I like to purchase a year I uh, usually one every quarter and this was on that list so I was going to purchase it luckily CZ sent it to me to test so I do appreciate that a lot and uh, but I would definitely be spending my own money on one of these
All in all, this has been a really fun gun and I really enjoy it. Uh, it does have its corks uh, and things that you'll probably want to replace when you first get it um, and customize yourself. But again, this is such a customizable gun, which is a really cool feature of it. So you're able to switch those things out. Some of these might not even bother people. Some people might not care about the trigger. Um, it's just something that really bothers me. Uh, so let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, I'm going to continue testing this. I'll keep updating you guys on my Instagram. I always update everyone on there and my Facebook. So if you guys uh, don't follow me there, go and check that out and you guys will be able to see a lot more information on the gun. I might do another YouTube review video later on if anything changes. If it continues to be the way it is and nothing really changes, then I'm probably not going to do anything. I might do like a build summary video showing you guys all the, the build and upgrade upgrades that I've done, the new optic, the, the all the new little pieces that I put on to make it a little bit more more mine and what I like and what's more comfortable just to give you guys an idea what's the best way to go I uh, may do that in the future if you guys want um, but if you guys have any questions shoot me in the DM and uh, if you guys would like to pick one for, for yourself go check out CZ um, they have some really cool guns they have a lot of uh, other firearms on their website as well there's a lot of handguns that I've been wanting to get a hold of I actually had the P10C pre-ordered when it, originally it came out um, but some things happened and I didn't end up getting that one um, but they do have a lot of really nice guns. So if you guys would like to pick one up yourself, go check out CZ. If you guys would like to help me out on the page here and what I do, there's two ways to do that. There's Patreon. You guys can join that and that helps me out a ton. There's some benefits that you get from that. And then there's a link in the description. that will take you to my website from there. You can go to websites like Brownells, Aero Precision, uh, Premier Body Armor, anything you purchase from there. It gives me a small kickback. It shows those companies that I'm generating flow, which just helps me out a lot. And uh, if you guys do that, I would appreciate it. If not, not a big deal. I just appreciate you guys being here, liking, sharing, subscribing. It helps me out a lot. Uh, as always, I like to do uh, some talking here at the end of the video, giving you guys some updates on what's going on with builds, projects, things like that. Um, I don't like to bog up the actual review video for the people that actually want to watch the review. Uh, if you want to stick around, you can. So biggest thing is uh, howitzer. If you guys have been watching for a while, you guys know these guys are a huge supporter of my channel and my page and what I do. And I really support them as well because they give 5% of the proceeds out to charity, which is such a cool thing. Uh, so I wear their, I literally wear their shirts every day. I have so many other shirts. I wear these things religiously and uh, probably one of the most comfortable shirts I've ever had. So check them out if you'd like to. I'll put a link in the description. Once I get to 10,000 subscribers here, I'll be able to post on stories here. Uh, I can't unlock that until I get to that point. And that's where I really update a lot of people, keeping you guys updated on what's going on with builds, how things are continuing to proceed with testing, if they have any issues, if they're continuing to do good. Uh, so once I get that, I'll be able to give you guys a lot more information here on this channel for those of you that don't want to follow on the other channels. Uh, so as always, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being here.